<laughs> hey, Owen, I saw this movie about, I guess I saw it two weeks ago. They sent me a tape. It's really funny. It's really inventive. Great. You're hysterical in this movie. Thanks very much. I yeah, really you glad to have that. you on. And it's kind of an interesting story how the whole thing got made. Because it's, it's you and your brothers hanging out in a house in Texas, right. in Dallas? Well, the, we made a short film that went to Sundance that was sort of an introduction to the script. And then mm -hmm. Jim Brooks. Uh, Jim Brooks, the, yeah. James O. Brooks. G right, right, giant producer. Yeah, he saw it and wanted to come to Dallas and uh, meet with us. And he comes uh -huh. to Dallas and uh, he like, wants to see where we're living and stuff. We're all living together and we're living in like a real kind of dump of a place. And like a real <laughs> uh -huh. hobble. Bad apartment. And he like comes in there and he's like, I actually think that helped get the movie made as much as anything because he sort of saw how we were living. He's like, Jesus, if I don't help these guys, who will? <laughs> They're obviously like hanging by a thread here. Uh -huh. And uh, then he like, you know, leaves the apartment. He wants to do a reading of the script. And we go, okay, we'll do a reading of the script. And we go back to his uh, hotel room to do a reading of the script. And it's like the only problem was that although it said 120 pages, the font that Wes was using on the computer it was probably more like 320 pages. So we start into the script. What, like giant like, I can read block print? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cat and in the hat kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, like two hours into it, and we're on page 25 or something, and it's like Luke is just drenched in sweat, and Jim Brooks looks like he's been hit with like a stun gun of boredom. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so this sounds like uh, you had to overcome a lot of obstacles yeah. to get this made. Then you're going to get this thing made, and, and you went to L.A., is that right? Right. We went to Los Angeles to do a big rewrite on it, and uh, that was really fun going now you, Now, pick, you know, paint this picture for me. Three guys living in a house in Texas suddenly yeah. transplanted to I L.A. Mean, it sounds like it would be great, like, that, like, all of a sudden you're making a movie, and you're in Los Angeles and stuff, and, you know, girls will be coming up to you and things like that. But, I mean, it's not really... I mean, if, if I'd started to tell people, like, well, what are you doing out here? And I'd say, ah, oh, we're making a movie. Mm -hmm. And then they'd be like, well, who's in it? And I'd go, I'm in it. And my brother's in it. And my other brother's <laughs> in it. And they're like, kind of, their eyes start to kind of glaze over. And they're like, who directs it? And I go, my friend, Wes, directs it. <laughs> who's releasing it? Oh, big studio, Columbia. So, uh, so people, for a while, it just sounded like a scam. Yeah. Like they're trying to <laughs> steal their tires or something. Yeah, All right. Like well, you know, you got to, you actually, I mean, you're very funny in the movie. The acting in this movie is very good. And you also, you got to start, you got James Caan in this movie. Yeah, and that sort of kind of Who's the, a very, validated. really cool actor to have in your film, I would Very think. cool and kind of an intimidating guy kind of to meet and stuff. But what was he like to, to talk to? He was, uh, he's really into karate and stuff like that. So, I mean, the first time that we met him, Jim Brooks was saying, you know, just try to find some common ground with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, it turned out to be karate. He was like a fanatic about karate and stuff. So we started talking about karate and like five minutes into the meeting, he asked me uh, stand up and he goes, try to strangle me. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I'm serious, he said that. And he goes, uh -huh. put your hands on my neck. And so I put my hands on his neck, and then I start squeezing. He goes, harder, harder. And so I start to kind of squeeze, and then he knocks my hands away. And we're like, God, that's incredible. <laughs> well, it seems like that's sort of obvious. If somebody's trying to strangle you, you, you kind of knock, knock them their away. hands yeah. away. Kind but of, you're like, but how did you think of that, yeah, knocking them away So thing. that's why you're a black belt, kind of. <laughs> Well, does he does he have uh, does he have like a karate guy like a trainer or anything that he? Yeah. Well, actually, he has a master. Uh, this uh, really nice uh, Japanese guy named Tak, who's about sixty or seventy maybe, mm -hmm. who actually came down and was in the film. He's in plays. the movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jimmy calls him his master, but he doesn't treat him like he's his master. He Wait, sort of he treats him like he's a PA. <laughs> Talk, talk, that's wrong. That's wrong, talk. Although he says talk is his master. He his also dojo. makes him go on a donut yeah, run right. or something. <laughs> that's sweet. That's really nice. <laughs> what now? His part isn't huge. I mean, you guys clearly dominate well, no, the movie. Right. Was he it's okay? Sort of, with we're sort of waiting to get to him. He's in the third act, and we're really mm -hmm. looking forward to getting to him and stuff. But um, he doesn't have a huge part. And then when he came in to do his ADR and do all that stuff, all the um, looping and all the stuff you do after it's right, shot. Right, 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 right. He's looking at the scene. He's like, "Where's the rest of it?" And I go, well, we had to cut some of it. He's like, gosh, I had a small part. You made it smaller. <laughs> and, then, and then he'd kind of get in good spirits again. He'd be laughing. He goes, oh, and remember when we did that thing in Dallas where you were you know, that thing? And I go, oh, yeah, that was funny. He goes, is that in there? No, no, Jimmy, that's not in there. <laughs> we cut that. We yeah. cut that. <laughs> and then comes the choking again. All right. Now, your, your brother uh, did, did the film. He also he did a film with... Uh, my older brother Andrew, which is how we were able to get some of the financing for the short, did mm -hmm. a 
uh, thing for Perot. He did Perot, a thing. He Ross did a, Perot. When Ross Perot was running for president, he did Out sort of, of a. Uh, he did a. Well, it was sort of he was having problems because it was when people were thinking he was sort of crazy because he saw ninjas and stuff like running across his yeah, yard. Yeah, why would that be crazy? <laughs> yeah. The guy who wants to be president says, my only problem is that ninjas run across my yard at night. Other than that, I'm fine. Right. So he wanted to do something to soften his image, kind of like a little bio thing. He needed it cheap. And uh, that's why I got my brother. And what, what kind of thing did your brother do? Did he do a good film about yeah, Perot? Yeah, I, I mean, I liked it. Perot wasn't that crazy about it and dropped out shortly after <laughs> there. So I dropped out of the race. Yeah, I don't know what message we're supposed to get from well, that. Well, what was the film like? Was It, it a... was, uh, you know, it was interviewing with his wife, and she's talking about what a wonderful dancer he was or is. Apparently, that's like what caught her eye like when he was at Annapolis he was really light on his feet and like a good dancer <laughs> so that's the film that was gonna catapult him to the presidency there's <laughs> a woman saying he's a really hot dancer well, there's all yeah stuff about Vietnam and yeah stuff. I got gotcha. you all right now you got uh, you shot part of this movie at your old high school I know the scenes yeah. that you're talking you're talking yeah. about but you shot some of it's it at your old Mars. high school yeah in Dallas which was kind of weird to go back there why well, because <laughs> I was, uh, I got kicked out of St. Mark's. I was expelled <laughs> from St. Mark's when I was in. Uh... That's the ultimate revenge. Yeah. They kick you out Go and then you come like back it. to make a movie, you know, cast the principal as the guy right. who gets the crap beat out of him, you know, with a stick. <laughs> Very nice. That's yeah. the ultimate revenge. Well, the movie uh, Bottle Rocket is out at theaters now. Really funny, very inventive Thanks. film. I hadn't seen anything quite like it when I saw it. Oh, I appreciate so I was that. real happy you could come on the show. Owen, best Thanks of luck with anything. Owen Wilson, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Joey Slotnick. We'll see you in a second.